Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So next uh, next gym is going to be Iono. Oh, he's a fairy. I did not guess that. Which means I want my Metal Gear to be first on the team. I want to see if there's any good TMs for him. Let's uh, one shot. Is that good? Oh, yeah. I'll make one, and I'll see if he wants to learn it. to forget Brutal Swing. No, we can't forget Brutal Swing. Oh, Headbutt's actually strong. Huh, I would not have guessed that. Oh well. I guess that's that. Alright, now let's get this marked. set as destination. So it's over that way, but I don't think I can just run straight over the... I think there's too much water. Cool, it's all lit up. Alright, this is a new area. So I already have these things. Which means I get to come around to Meryl. And we'll just throw some Pokeballs at it. I think I've caught a Meryl before on one of my Nuzlocke challenges. Because I know what name I gave it. Because I don't change my jokes. Yeah, you can't see it. So it's it's Pika Blue. Yep, Pika Blue. This guy make sure my Pokemon are on par before I get to the gym and find out that they are not. I guess there was a huge level gap. I shouldn't have been surprised. All right, now let's go. They all just spawned in out of nowhere. You don't want to what? I don't want to do my job, no. Challenge my Christian office worker. Right. And his cleft cube. Uh, 
it's a ghost, I think. I think they're haunted keys. Ooh. Is he dark? Oh, he's steel. My ground type's not gonna do. Or is ground effective against steel? I steel is another type that I don't really understand. Ah, you meanie head. heal, but if I'm going to take on a gym challenge, I probably should be healed. Those two aren't going to do anything. I wish it would tell me... Okay. Let's do some evolutions here. Come on, Egbert. Do it. I wish I could fully see an eye. He skeleton. Dirge. Interesting. It's fire ghost. Fire bird changes shape when Skeledurge sings. Rumor has it that the bird was born when the fireball on Skeledurge's head gained a soul. Well, that's cool and scary. Torch song. User blows out. Raging flames as if singing a song, scorching target. Also boosts the user's special attack. Yeah, uh, forget Ember. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so use a couple. Not <laughs> That's too many. Maybe three on Big Pig. Just gonna try to get everyone to level 40. Uh, discharge. Is that a good move? 80, 100. Leave those hit with paralysis. Yeah, I say get rid of Thundershock. Since Phil, no, not Phil Dick. Uh, what's his name? Metal Gear. He's gonna do a lot of the work. So we'll level him up, which means he gets to evolve. Congratulations. Man, that looks imp impractically weird. We'll expand its body as much as it can and then contract itself. Blasting out sand with enough force to wash away a dump truck. Alright, alright, cool. He doesn't want to learn any attacks. Give him like four. Double edged, no. Right. 
One more for you. So, Jump Pluff is not going to be in this fight. But potentially these guys are. So, eh, he can have the last two. You have all these. What do I care? Um, I don't know what. I'd have to look at his attacks to see if they're special or physical. And no one can use any of these evolution items. Give him to give it to him. Uh, wow, I do not need five of these. Here, I take it back. And now give the quick claw to give it to the pig. I can also give someone a rock, but okay, Ampharos has a rock attack. But I think that's enough. Alright, let's go to the gym. Oh, Hassel. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this the kid I've been hearing so much about? Oh man, that's some cool hair. Hey kiddo. I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Uh, not that good. Ha! You can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika here, at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little... farcical? Shall we say? But like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. I'll tell you something, kiddo. You look fun, like interesting, at a glance anyway. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, haha, -ha. yeah, that checks out. The battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See you when you see you when you hit the champion assessment. You show these gyms what you've got. Best of fortunes to you. Okay, so we've now met three of the elite four. Okay. Welcome to the Lavencia Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Yerubra, correct? Great, now in order to face gym leader Iono, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here, that means staring in, starring in one of her streams. Alright, uh, Iono is a streamer as well as a gym leader, so we want you to dazzle her audience with your skills and rack up those subs. Yeah, it's calling them subscriptions. Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Go out there and have fun. All right, head outside. All right, this will be easy. I think I can do a stream or get subscription subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Ayano Zone. I'm guessing people are gonna fight to be in the background. Oh. Oh, they're ma 
magnemite. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, hey, hey. Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electroweb. Who's the what's it? I don't know. I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and oh, bonjour. I'll repeat it back at her. Oh snap, look at you. Already a master of Ion East. Not your first rodeo then, eh? And uh, I hope this doesn't come as too much of a surprise. You'll be in broadcast live to the world right now. Smile. Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to the Lavencia gym to see me. I'm super happy you're here, but I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know? I'm all kinds of busy. So I can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in those sweet, sweet viewer number. I mean, I, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. Me, uh... And so if you want to battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this live stream a viral hit. Got it? <clears throat> I can tell you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then. Allow me to explain the plan. Come on out, Mr. Walks About. Oh. Oh, Yerba, what a coincidence meeting you here. Say what? Do you guys know each other or something? This here dude had a real aura about him. When I was walking down the street, so I snatched him up for my dealio here. You are too kind, haha. Huh? Well, anywho, Yerba. Since you're today's challenger, I'm going to have you play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance cameras. Find him three times and you can consider this gym test passed. That's really easy. We need a better name for this challenge. I'll call it Where in Lavincia is Mr. Walks about? Also not a very good name, but you think that's title safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Eh, whatevs. I don't know about you. I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walks About. I feel that I owe the Pokemon League for many a past favor, so I'm more than happy to help. Do bear with me as I try my best in my allocated role. Jeez, he took off. Mayhap our dapper gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walkspout, you good to go? Yes, I am. All right, he's at the table. Ready he be? Mr. Walkspout is hiding somewhere in this video feed, friendo. Open those eyes wide like a magnemite and get to searching. Ready or not, here our challenger comes. He's, he's right, right there. He's... Okay, I'm ready. Let me point at him. Oh dear, it seems you found me. A challenger has found Mr. Walks about. Wowzer, you did it. You're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make things a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out here, you silly Pokemon Pokemaniac. The Iano hype squad is here. Long live the Iano zone. Challenge by gym trainer Marty. I like his vest. Are those like the, the Pokemon that had statues to them in the first games? Alright. Oh, they're all gonna use electric, of course. This is easy. Getting bulldozed by a coiled up snake. Still easy. Somehow confusing. Win or lose, I don't know. Hype squad forever. And you win! Well done, challenger friendo. Time for a change of scenery. All right. All right, he 
is not immediately out in the open. That's good. Here we go. Next stage for my totally rad test. Everybody loves it. It's the Pokemon Center. Oh wait, he's working as the nurse. Mr. Warspot is once again hiding in the feed somewhere. Panic. Ah, find him quick. Oh, and here I thought I had blended into my surroundings quite well. Hmm, not that well. Mr. Walkabout's been found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's spice things up again before moving on to ye old next round. That's right, it's another Pokemon battle. Get out here, Pokemaniac pal. So I was watching. I can't lose. Gym trainer Michael. He looks. It's the same guy again. He just changed his name. And his Tynamo. Alright, now this is interesting. Okay, it's still super effective. I wasn't sure because of him being. Doesn't a, it's not super effective, you lied to me, game. Alright, um... Yeah, I guess headbutt. Alright, that was easy. I never did look to see how... I never did look to see if his attacks are physical or special. I don't think I'll be able to do that now. You know what I haven't lost to you in? My devotion to Miss Iono. And you win! Well done, Challenger Friendo. There's no stopping you. Master of Seeking and Master of Battle. You're the real deal. Alrighty then, time for a change of scenery. The last stage will be this place right here. The battle court where battles are raging. He's on a boat. Can you find our Mr. Walks about among these randos? Let's find out. Ready, go. Now I wonder what happens if you get it wrong. Why am I? Admirably done. I hope you'll find your treasure in your independent study with just as much ease. Whoa, my subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast electros crawling out of the ocean. Er, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. Hot diggity dang, what a good time, huh? You had people on the edge of their seats worldwide. Bet I could have some super rad streams by collabing with you, Yagabra. You should. So hey, staff, they'll get you all set up to collab with me. Lickety split. I'll be ready to go when else. Alright. Passed. Alright. Let's report in. See, Iono gave your performance the thumbs up. Amazing job, Yara. Well done on clearing the gym test. Thanks. You now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Ready to challenge her? Yes. I uh, actually I forgot I wanted to upgrade that attack, like I had said, but I guess I won't be doing that.
Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Finally! Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Wowza, what's it? I don't know. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. It's time for the auto zone, everyone. Today's challenger is flying high like a watch girl. It, it's Jaegerbra. Yay! I like her shark teeth. Right, I wasn't imagining that. How are you feeling about this battle, Jaegerbra? <sighs> like I can't lose. Hey, hey, we got a lively one here. You make a gnarly influencer, friendo. Alrighty then, who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're all getting hyped. Ah, thank you much, Lee Electro King. Let's get the show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. Let's find out together. Trying to let Jim your eye on him. And her watch row. Go Metal Gear. Give me a battle that will electrify all my viewer pals. Oh. Yeah, so her Pokemon's flying. So no effect. Ground move, but the electric one. This whole battle. Did it get goggles? Belly bolt? It's probably fine. I don't know what a belly bolt is. Oh. Nice. Gross. But I bet I can bulldoze it. Change the opposing belly bolt. What? What? I don't know what that is. Luxio, I know. Her last one. What's her cool Pokemon gonna be? Miss Magius. I know this isn't good, loyal fans. I need to hear you cheering. Give me all you got. So, Miss Magius. I forget that with terrestrializing, you know, anything can be come anything else. So bulldoze, but it's gotta have levity. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. I'm not done yet. I don't know power to go. I'm assuming it would keep its levity. So we'll see what Rock Tune does. Okay, it crits. Here is flashing brightest ten million volt thunderbolt, friendo. A 
challenger came out victorious. Well done, Yair, bro. Whoa, they're both so strong. Hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on. Anywho, my loyal fans. Uh, beat me the lean. Mean streaming queen? I'll tell you. Yagabra, you win. A gym badge. Woohoo! Screen cap this quick. This will be a shot you'll want to save in your brain spaces forever. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and her magnemites are real. I guess that makes sense. By the by, Z, with four gym badges, Poke Pals of up to level 40 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff, too. Yeah, too bad my team is now above 40. As my thanks for such a sweet pick, I'm gonna give you a TM. You obtain Volt Switch. Ooh. I think that's a good one. After me, it's time to use our brushes back to switch places. If any of you found our electrifying battle to be shocking, go smash that subscribe button. Your eyeballs are mine, caught in my electroweb. Who's a what's it? Iono, the supercharged streamer. Catch y'all later. Alright, now is Nimona gonna show up and tell me? I don't know, something. Oh, yeah, bro. Hola. Caught you just as you finished up in here, huh? Nice work. That puts you four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. Makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm gonna wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader, dang it. I battle you. I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Yeah, it's the worst timing ever. Sorry, Jaegerbra. Forgive me! Forgive me! Alright. So I guess... Yeah, where are we at on time? We're in like 30 minutes. Yeah, so I'll head back. I can do a little, um, a few of the classes. Ooh, item. So let's go. Alright, let's do a couple of quick lessons. Uh, biology. Or Jacques. Yes. Hello, hello. Hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. I seem to remember teaching you all about the importance of eggs in our last class. Ah, on that note, is everyone using their Pokedex? Registers Pokemon born from eggs as well as those encountered via other methods. So don't you worry about that. And uh, hey, <laughs> just you know, I'm the one who developed the Pokedex app. It was way before I started teaching here at the academy, though. Back then, I was a researcher. In fact, Director Clavel wasn't working in education at the time either. He was researching alongside me at the same facility. We got to research Pokemon together day in, day out. It was sure were fun times. I got yelled at all the time, though. Heh. <laughs> Wait a second, how did I get onto this? Pretty sure I was talking about the Pokedex. Uh, anyway, today I'd like to teach you about catching Pokemon. As you all know, a great way to catch a Pokemon more easily is to first lower its HP. But there's another way to get your chances up. And guess what it is? Give the Pokemon a berry, inflict the Pokemon status conditions. Prove you're stronger than the po status conditions. Wow, that's right, Yerba. Great job. The correct technique for making Pokemon easier to catch is to inflict them with a status condition. Sleep is an especially effective status condition. It makes Pokemon drastically easier to catch. You have a Pokemon that can use moves that put opponents to sleep, like Sleep Powder or Hypnosis, filling up your Pokedex will be a cinch. Other ways to improve your catch rate, as well, like using Pokeballs designed to be effective against certain Pokemon. 
Eating food that gives you catching power works too. Or sneaking up on Pokemon from behind to catch them by surprise when you start a battle. Having trouble, you may want to make the rounds to the gyms to get put gym badges. I mean, gym badges will make it easier to catch Pokemon up higher and higher levels. Please do come show me your Pokedexes once they start to fill up. Another day, another enjoyable class. Oh yeah, don't forget our next class will be a test. I wonder what that means. Let's do the test since we're... Because I'm curious now. Assuming biology midterm. It's not worrisome. Hello, hello everyone. Today is our midterm exam. Sure feels good to fill in all those empty spaces on the answer sheet, doesn't it? Take your time and complete, contemplate each question carefully. What button would you use to let a Pokemon out of its ball so they can walk beside you? Um, the R button. Combine one letter and one number below to correctly say when and where eggs are found. Ah. During picnic in my basket. Shuffle is an effective way to warm up eggs. Walking around. What will not make Pokemon easier to catch? Giving them a berry, surprising them with poisons. Giving them a berry. We'll make it easier to catch Pokemon at higher levels. Gym badges. How do you like the Pokedex? Is it easy to use? I'd be happy to hear your opinion. It's easy to use. Alright everyone, time's up. I hope you all enjoyed tackling those questions. Last question was just something that I'm personally curious to know. Don't tell the director about it, okay? I'll grade these right away. I hope you're all looking forward to seeing how you did. Feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three correct to pass and four correct to pass the finals. Okay. Let's see how you did. You answered four out of five. Ah, which one was wrong? Yeah, but which one was wrong? Is it the picnic one? Because that's the one thing I haven't done that I need to do. Just have it. I haven't had a need to do a picnic. So I haven't thought about it. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class. Tell me, do you all enjoy fortune telling, horoscopes, and the like? I think it feels great to read your horoscopes and see that it says good luck is coming your way. Today I'd like to teach you all math while focusing on the topic of luck. Perhaps you have seen the following phrase crop up during Pokemon battles before. A critical hit. Pokemon attack lands as a critical hit. Damage it deals is increased by half. In other words, it does one and a half times as much damage as it normally would. It's truly lucky luck that determines whether your Pokemon lands a critical hit or has one landed on it. This can cause a great upset in battle. Does anyone know what percent chance a Pokemon has of landing a crit? I actually don't know. 1%'s too low. 4... 12 seems too high. I thought it was like 10. Oh my, that might cause a bit too critical of a situation here, bro. It's 4%. Odds are more favorable for certain moves, though. On moves such as Stone Edge, have about a 12% chance. And you can also use a move called Focus Energy, an item known as Dire Hit. Both raise the crit ratio by two stages. It's a 50% chance to land a crit. Ooh, that's sick. 
Feels great to land a critical hit, but perhaps not so lucky to be struck by one. It's a surprising amount of mathematical probability hidden in Pokemon battles, you know. If you're able to do the calculations, that'll swing luck in your favor. It may open the door for more strategic choices for you during battle. Alright. Oh my, is that the bell? What a shame. This class is a midterm. Hope you idiots studied. term even though honestly it, the other ones seemed like just a review so maybe that's all these really are I mean I know that that's really all these tests are they seem like the same questions that were asked before not new questions based on the same topic all right what's damage does water gun do when it hits a fire type double how much damage does razor leaf do when it hits a fire type half if you spent 2000 how many balls do you get 11 what percentage does it Pokemon have of landing a crit how much damage does a move deal when it lands a crit one and a half times as much all right you yeah, like I think those were all the same questions My results. I need three correct. Five out of five. So five EXP candies. All right. Keep doing your best. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Be sure to come back next time, where we are going to face. Let's see. All right. Right there. So I guess we're leaving there and headed towards Steel Titan. Alright, so be sure to come back next time for Steel Titan. As always, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.